Laura Wyden-Blattner was diagnosed with MS in 1995. It's taken away, but it's also given me a lot more insight and blessings than I would have ever known. She's what? one of the over 400,000 affected by the disease living in the United States. Um, and for the last 20 plus yeah. years. It's good and bad days. That's why the news coming out of OHSU will brighten those bad days for many. I think people with MS live full, very full lives, but they are also managing their lives with the faculties that they may be missing. For me, it's a big deal because uh, I've always wanted to make medicine. Tom Scanlon is a doctor at OHSU, created a drug in 96 that would lower cholesterol. He later learned it would also stop the progression of MS. I feel we're closer than I've ever been before to, you know, uh, making this into a new medicine that would help people. He and a team of doctors and scientists found using mice that over time the drug stops the breakdown of myelin and could even repair the damage. Check out the difference between these two brain scans of a mouse undergoing the treatment. The darker color shows the repaired myelin. There are no medicines uh, available today that re repair myelin. There are MS medications that help with the um, immune system aspects of the disease, but they don't repair the damaged myelin that happens with these immune system flare-ups. That, Wyden-Blattner says, is exciting news. I think people with MS are masters of management and to know that there is hope that they don't have to manage as hard would be amazing. So to be clear, this isn't a cure, but it's still out there. And it's still a few years out. The first has to go through uh, human clinical trials and then uh, as well as getting approved by the FDA. But again, it's on the road. Back to you.